Hello trading viewers all over the world. We have an important video for you today because we are walking through the chart layout process, how to save, manage, edit, rename, and or copy all of the charts that you work on. Now, the first thing you may have noticed is that we have moved our mouse up here to the top of the chart. Now for this exercise, you are going to want to master these two buttons specifically this drop down arrow where it says manage layouts when you click this drop down you will see this wonderful menu here which gives you access to tools for saving managing and editing all of the chart layouts you create now there are a few very important points here for all of you traders to understand how this works first of all a chart layout specifically refers to the look the feel, the design, and all of the chart settings that you apply to your specific chart and possibly even the drawings that you add to your charts. They will also follow you in your chart layout. But for this specific example, what we are doing is creating a chart that is customized to our exact needs based on all of these chart settings options. So let us show you a few examples. When we click this drop down, you can see here, we've got a few recently used chart layouts that we've created. For example, we are currently using a chart layout that we created called the paper trading chart layout. This chart layout is specifically for when we engage in paper trading. The reason for that is when we right click on settings and then go to trading, we have all of the trading features turned on. That is because this is our paper trading layout. We want to specifically use this layout whenever we are paper trading so that we can see all of the key trading features. Here's our paper trading, it's turned on. We've got some trades active right now and this layout allows us to apply such trades and see all the information we want. Now we've had some other layouts as well, such as our long-term investing layout. You can see here, it looks a little different. Or in addition, we have our short-term investing layout. This one also looks a little different. Now let's talk about both these layouts that we created. But before we dive into them, how about we show you how to do this yourself? Well, there is a button here that says new layout and it's got a plus. Go ahead and click this button. Now from here, you can create your own layout from scratch for your exact needs. In this live walkthrough, we are going to prepare, pre pretend that we are a swing trader who likes the weekly time frame. So let's go ahead and actually rename our chart to reflect that already. We're going to call this swing trader layout and let's call it weekly time frame. And let's click save. Now we have renamed our chart and we're gonna to go to a weekly time frame. We are also going to go to a different symbol. For this example, why don't we go to your, or let's actually go to USDJPY. And now we've got a weekly time frame, swing trader layout, and here we are. But one more thing, also pretend for a moment that we actually prefer to use line charts in this example. So we're gonna do a line chart. And now we're gonna make sure this is saved. So we're gonna click, hover our mouse, all changes saved. Auto save is turned on. Great, excellent. Well, now we've just created a swing trader layout on a weekly time frame. That means every single time we come to this chart layout, it'll look exactly like this. So check this out. We're gonna go back to our paper trading layout. Here we are. You probably recognize this chart, the candlesticks, paper trading's on. You can see the, the trading tools. Because remember, in the settings menu, we turned on all of our paper trading options. This is true for all of these features. When you create a chart layout, make sure you customize it to your exact needs and then name it something that relates to how you customized and created the chart in the first place. Because now watch, when we go back to our swing trader layout, it is a weekly time frame. There's the weekly time frame, as we mentioned, and it's a line chart. This is going to be our swing trader layout. Now, there are another few key details here to really keep in mind. And that is that if you are going to use your chart layouts for symbol specific reasons, please note that if you change the symbol. So, for example, if we go to GLD, the gold ETF, and we end up saving our chart or we let we let auto save do its magic and we leave this chart and go to the paper trading layout, what's going to happen is we're not going to go back to the original USD JPY chart that we started on. We're going to end up on 
the GLD chart. So your layouts save to the last symbol that you visited. So that is very important to know. If you are planning to make chart layouts specifically for individual assets or individual symbols, be sure to always remember that. So watch what we're going to do here. We're going to click new layout. And this time what we're going to do is we are going to create an, an Amazon specific layout. A-M-Z-N. Let's go ahead and change the colors because this is going to be an entirely unique layout. Let's do green and let's even change this to an area chart. And let's make sure this is named correctly. So let's call this our Amazon chart layout and we can even put the symbol here in parentheses and click save this is save now now this is our amazon chart layout so you can imagine if say you have 5 10 15 symbols that you follow specifically you can of course create multiple different layouts with the names in the name of the symbols in that layout but remember if you change the symbol for example if we end up on google and it does save well even though you have written down it's an amazon chart layout you can see the last symbol you saved it on was google so if we leave the chart and come back it is google so your chart layouts always save on the last symbol that you ended on and that it either auto saved on or that you clicked to specifically save it on so what we have shown you though that you may have noticed is that you can create chart layouts for all sorts of different use cases. You can create simple specific chart layouts. You can create chart layouts designed for your specific st trading strategy. You can create chart layouts specifically for different features or tools that you're using. Recall, we started this video by showing you our paper trading layout. And of course, you can even do different timeframes. We have a long-term investing layout here as well. And you'll notice what makes this layout unique is every time we open this layout, the default is monthly charts. So it's gonna give us a long-term view. Check this out, that says 2015. Each candle represents a whole month of trading. So if we ever thought of buying various symbols, or we made a, a, a watch list specific to trades we could place, well, we would open up our long-term investing layout and watch how cool this is. We can just click through our whole list to see all of these symbols within our layout which is all set to a monthly chart and we can breeze through charts quite literally in a matter of seconds. Now, another tip for all of you out there is say, for example, you do like doing multiple time frame analysis. You look at long-term charts and short-term charts. Well, keep in mind we're looking at a monthly chart layout that we created. But if we click this load layout option, we're going to see even more layouts that we've created. And we can scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And actually, earlier, before we made this video, we did create a short-term investing layout. So we're going to go ahead and click the short-term investing layout. Now we can go through our watch list at a two-hour time frame. So let's click Tesla, NVIDIA, Amazon, QQQ, Apple. So now look how fast we can then breeze through charts on a short time frame. So you can imagine a workflow whereby you start with your long-term layout, find some interesting symbols, then switch to your short-term layout to see if there are any trades in the short term. All of this is possible when using the layout features available to you up here in this dropdown. Now we really are only just getting started. So if you've already gathered what this video is all about, go test these tools. You will learn so much by saving your layout, embracing autosave, using the sharing feature, renaming, making copies, exporting chart data, and all of the other tools here. However, we are going to go into each of these tools in great detail. So if you choose to continue watching this tutorial video, kick back, put your feet up, and get ready for a deep dive into all of these features. Okay, let's address the sharing button. Say, for example, you've created a chart layout that is just absolutely perfect. For example, maybe this short-term investing layout has been really great to you. Perhaps you found many trades on it and you want to share it with people. Well, toggle the sharing button on, click copy link, and now if you share this link with people on social media or across the web, anywhere, they can see your chart layout and they can click this make a copy button to make a copy. Or perhaps you could use this make a copy button to replicate the layouts that you really like. So maybe you have designed a chart 
that you really like. It's got a specific look and feel, maybe a color combination that no one has ever seen before. You have created a chart that is quite literally your own chart and no one else has used a chart like this before. We're actually going to turn off the trading features on this chart because this chart's going to be specifically for research. Click OK. And here's your chart. Now say, for example, you want to replicate this. Well, what you'd want to do is just click make a copy. And now you can do short-term investing layout copy, click save. And now you've got this same chart, look and feel, settings, all of the above saved. And now you can add the different features that you want added to it and why you copied it in the first place. So for example, it's currently a short-term investing layout copy, but maybe you copied this chart to actually make it your medium-term layout. So why don't we go ahead and click something like four hours to zoom out a little. And why don't we also use hollow candles? And now let's go ahead and click save. And let's also rename it medium, medium term investing layout. Click save. And so now, ladies and gentlemen, you have just observed how we used the make a copy feature to add a medium term investing layout to our layouts. So now we've got medium term, short term, we've shown you simple specific, swing trader, it's all up to you once you start to dive into these very specific features. You can also export your chart data from here. And most importantly, what you're going to want to notice, and you probably just saw us use this step, is the load layout button. So we click load layout, and now we can see all of the layouts that we have here, including the capability to star specific layouts. Now the reason why that is so fascinating is you can create this highly custom menu where your favorite layouts always appear up top and everything else is below. So if, for example, you have many layouts like us, you have your favorites at the top, everything else below, and then you can even sort those to get a more specific view of what's happening on your chart. In this case, we are sorting all of our chart layouts by the date they were last modified, but we could sort them by the by the oldest time they were modified, or the specific layout name, Z to A or A to Z. The choice is yours. You can filter all of your charts like this, or even search for specific keywords that your charts were saved as. My name is Steph. I make educational videos here at TradingView. I typed in Steph. Look at this. I have my own layout called Steph Layout for video only. Click this. It was last saved to Apple. You can see some drawings here that I have, and that's how quickly I can get to the chart that I'm looking for using the search feature. Now, this video would not be complete without reminding you that there is the multi-chart layout feature as well. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget that there are multi-chart layouts, which means you can show multiple charts at once on your chart layout. So what we are demonstrating in this video is that when you draw on the chart and save it to a layout, those drawings on that symbol will always be there. Of course, they will not carry over to all other symbols. They'll just stay attached to the symbol they were drawing on, but they will also only appear on that specific layout. Now, in addition, there is the multi-chart layout. So you can have a multi-chart layout Here's two different charts, and you can save that as such as well. To remind you, let's call this Steph's multi-chart layout. Click Save. Now we've got Steph's multi-chart layout. So what we're going to do, this is saved. Let's go back to the long-term investing layout. Okay, we all recall this. Remember we were saying earlier in the video, this is our monthly time frame layout. Well, now let's go back to Steph's multi-chart layout and check it out, our multi-chart layouts right here. So what you are learning from this video are all of the ways you can save charts on TradingView and manage all of the charts that you create. And there are endless ways for you to do this, whether you make it symbol specific, asset class specific, or if you recall, we have a paper trading example as well. Where is our paper trading example? Let's see if we can find this. Here's our long-term, short-term, Here's a paper trading, and we can very quickly see, here's our paper trading layout. Let's favorite that so that it comes back up to the top. There it is. Let's open that back up. And here's our paper trading chart. You can create charts for feature-specific 
use cases as well as asset class or time frame or trading style or anything of the sort that we've shown you in this video. But the key thing that we want you to walk away from once you have watched this video is just how many options you have for creating, saving, and managing your charts. Because once you understand this feature, you will suddenly find yourself with a beautiful load layout page just like this that gives you access to all of the charts that you've spent time to create for all of the different use cases that you want, whether you're a long-term trader, short-term trader, swing trader, investor, anything that falls into the realm of markets, you can create a layout for that specific use case. And we've covered what the chart layout really means, such as the different settings that you'll save to your chart. Make sure you dive in and explore all these settings. We also have countless resources in our help center that explain all of these settings that you can customize on your chart, from the colors and look and feel to the trading tools that you can add or the specific events. Go check out our help center or watch videos on our YouTube channel to learn more about these. And of course, if you draw on specific symbols, they will also follow you along to your chart layouts and even the multi-chart layout feature as well. So ladies and gentlemen, that really wraps up this video and we hope you've gotten a complete, full, deep dive into all the ways you can manage your chart layouts, whether it is creating a process for your trading strategy or perhaps just learning markets with the paper trading feature. Please go ahead and like and subscribe to our YouTube page, leave some comments and our team will get back to you. We love reading your feedback and listening to you to improve our tools. So don't be shy, write something in the comments. And once again, to get started, make sure you click this drop down arrow where it says manage layouts. And from here, you will really begin the journey of becoming a chart layout master. Thank you for watching.